Good morning, everybody. How are you today? I hope you had a lovely weekend and you enjoyed your time. Today, teacher, we are going to read a story together. Our story's title is A Birthday Surprise. Are you ready to start? Let's go. A Birthday Surprise. Sam ran and jumped on Lizzie's bed. Happy birthday, Lizzie, he shouted. Good morning, Sam, said Lizzie. I have a secret, but I'm not supposed to tell you, Sam said. Lizzie asked, what secret? Before Sam could open his mouth, Mom and Dad walked into the room. There's our birthday girl, they cried. So, we have a birthday for the girl. Let's continue. At breakfast, everyone talked about Lizzie's big day. You can have anything you want for dinner, Mom said. What would you like? Lizzie answered, hmm, cheeseburgers, pizza, I can't decide, surprise me. Don't worry, we will, Sam said with a smile. Sam, shouted mom and dad. At school, Lizzie's class had a party for everybody with a birthday in March. Mr. Chen asked Lizzie, Marcus, and Victor what they were going to do for their birthdays. Lizzie said, I'm going to have a small party with my family. We're going to have a big party, said Marcus. With two birthday cakes, said Victor, and two piñatas said Marcos. What's a piñata? asked Sarah. A piñata is a bag or clay pot filled with candy and toys, said Victor. He drew a piñata on the chalkboard. Some piñatas are shaped like animals, said Marcos. Children try to break the piñata to get the candy and toys, said Victor. Lizzie thought she needed a piñata at her birthday party too. After school, Lizzie asked Sam, What about that secret you were going to tell me? Sam was just about to answer when Dad pulled up in the car. That's okay, thought Lizzie. I have a secret too. At home, Lizzie colored a bag to look like a bear. Then she filled it with candy and toys. Done! She said, holding up her piñata. Time for dinner, called Dad. Lizzie rushed down the stairs with her piñata. There was a surprise party for her, see? This year, my birthday is twice as nice, said Lizzie. Two parties, two cakes, and now two piñatas. Okay, teacher, this story is talking about a girl. Her name is Lizzie. Her birthday was in this day. Her brother teacher, let's go back to the first page so we can explain quickly. Her brother, Sam, he woke up in the morning and came to her to wish her a happy birthday. He told her that we have a secret for you, something 
we, you cannot tell someone what is a secret. It's something that you have, you can't tell someone. But Sam, he really wanted to tell his sister the secret that they were hiding. But the, the, his family, his mom and dad, they came before he had the chance to tell his sister what was the surprise or the secret. Okay, then they told her that she could ask for whatever dinner she liked because it's her birthday. Look, when it's your birthday, also your mom and your dad, they make some surprises for you. And they make you a nice dinner with a cake and something you like to eat, right? Okay. Sam, at the table, he tried to tell his sister again about the secret. He couldn't help himself. He really wanted to tell his sister that he was hiding something. Hmm, what was he hiding? At school, there were three students that had their birthday in March. So the month we are in is March. We had three students who had a birthday in March. We have Marcos, Victor, and of course, Lizzie, the birthday girl. They started talking about their plans for their birthday. Lizzie, because she didn't know that her family was making a surprise birthday party for her. She thought that it's going to be a small party with the family only. But the boys, Marcus and Victor, they, they told her that they were having a very big birthday with two cakes and a piñata. What is a piñata? A girl in the class called Sara asked. What is a piñata? You all teach you know what is a piñata, right? Now in our birthday, we have it too. It's like a stuffed uh, animal. We shape it as an animal and we put inside it a lot of candy and some toys. Then you try to break this piñata, even if you were blind, folded, eye folded, or you can see and try to break it. So Lizzie, she liked the idea a lot and she decided that she wants a piñata for her birthday. So what did she do? She said she, she thought she needed a piñata. So she was planning to make a piñata for her birthday. While she was going home, she tried to talk to her brother and asked him again about the, the secret he was trying to tell her. But did he have the chance to tell Leslie what's the secret? No, no, no. Their father pulled the car and they had to walk to the car. So they didn't have he didn't have the chance to tell her. Okay. She went back home. She got a, a bag and she drew some, a bear, she drew a bear on it. Then she filled it with candy and toys. She really liked the idea of the piñata. But what she didn't know, that her family and friends, all of her family and friends, even Marcos, Victor, Sarah from the class, they had a birthday surprise party for her and they had a pink piñata for Lizzie. So, do you know what was the secret? Lizzie's brother, Sam, was trying to tell her. What do you think? Tell me what was the secret. You have to tell me when you do the worksheet. Now, what I needed to do, teacher... I'm going to send you the story on Teams application. What I need from you is this. You have to read the story, okay? Try to read it by yourself. Make sure you can read every single word. Then, after reading the story, please do the worksheet. This is the worksheet. It says, after reading the story, a birthday surprise, answer the questions below. We have six questions. Please finish reading the story, then answer the questions and hand me the 
worksheet on Teams application. This is our, our lesson for today. I think you like it. It's a very nice story to change your mood and make you read again. Please try to read stories. And that's it. We're going to stop here today. And we're going to meet again, inshallah, in another class for your English language class. I love you all. I miss you all. Stay home and stay safe. Bye-bye.